you may be destroying your client's sales price and not even know it. Hey, I'm Kayla Lindsay, and in this video, we're gonna take a dive into the market and pricing properties. That's right, so many people out there right now, some agents, mostly sellers, think their property is valued much higher than it actually is. And even in this market, we understand sometimes we could just take something and throw it at the wall and see what sticks. And in some cases, that's gonna work. But here's what's happening. As the market is starting to shift, buyers are going to be even more aware of where prices are. That means when your client tells you they wanna list something for $100,000 over what's an accurate or appropriate price, you might say, sure, let's go for it, it might work. The challenge is, is that as interest rates have gone up and there's fewer buyers, the demand has diminished just a little bit. I'm not saying the market's shifted yet, but they are more aware of what's going on with pricing. In addition to that, buyers see a specific price and if it's outside of their range, they're not even going to bother looking at it, even though the seller might be willing to take a lesser offer and they were just seeing what stuck, seeing if they could get a higher offer on it, the buyer's going to move on because they are focused on getting into a home and they understand that the properties that are on the market right now are probably going to sell at or above asking price as we've all experienced, right? Some of us have actually stopped showing clients properties if the actual sales price is even within a $50,000 range of their max budget. Why? Because a lot of times it's going way over that price. So how do we help this? How do we stop this? We have to have an understanding of what would be the option, what would be the opportunity for multiple offers on someone's property. See, here's what I like to explain to my clients. When we list a property for a specific price, we wanna make sure that there's comparables that we can go back to and lean on. The second part is, in doing so, in posting it up and putting it up online and marketing it at a price that's actually realistic, we bring in more buyers. More buyers means they're more excited, which means they know there's a competition, which means they offer over asking price, sometimes blindly, 10, 15, 30, $100,000 over the actual listing price. So when I'm speaking to my clients, I make sure that I explain to them, we can get close to your goal where you wanted us to overprice it at, but it's going to start here. And based upon our track record, based upon the market trends, here's what you can expect. Anybody that's dealt with an analytical understands you're going to have to show some stats, some uh, actual statistics on this, right? It's easy enough if you pull up MLS, boom, boom, boom. Most homes are going for over. Now, let's be very clear. Certain price ranges are going for more. Some areas are going for more. But we have to also make sure we're not promising a specific price. We're just showing them what might be possible. Now, here's a few other things and tips that I leave with my clients as we get down that rabbit hole of selling their home. One, I let them know that the price we're listing it at is more than likely not where we're actually going to get offers. Two, I also let them know that we are going to get multiple offers, which means they get the pick of the litter. They get to select the best terms, the best price, the best option that works for them. And third, I also let them know that we can still counter offer offers that are coming in one at a time, of course, if we're doing multiple offers. But what I mean by this is if a buyer offers exactly at the listing price, even a little bit more, they still have the opportunity as a seller to counter offer at a higher price. We've done this in the past for some of our clients, especially when there's a ton of showings and it's just based on, hey, we're having more showings that are occurring. We'd love to move forward with an offer. However, it would have to be at this price. So I hope you take these tips and tricks and apply them. Make sure you do not overprice properties, especially as our market is starting to shift. Thanks so much, and I'll see you all on the next video.